Think lead core lines obsolete? Well, think again. Look at those big, beautiful rainbows. I got these fish while trolling 15 to 20 feet deep, and I didn't use a downrigger. If you don't want the expense or hassle of using a downrigger, pick up one of my yellow lead core rods in the Fish Hunt Shoot Production store and get ready to yell, fish on. Just like that, baby. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. It is June 23rd and it is time for a Northern California fishing report and there is a lot of good action to report. Let's start off with the ocean. Best bite in the state, bar none, Golden Gate Salmon. Fished at 33 pounds, limits are the rule, private boats, charter boats, even kayakers are getting in on the action. Pretty simple bite, rigged bait, um, watermelon apexes they're getting it done get out there get after the fish find the fleet if you're in a private boat find the fleet grind on the fish you're gonna get a limit um, if you don't if you don't feel up to taking your own boat out there you don't have a boat jump on a charter boat you know jump on the new easy rider jump on the El Dorado 3 out of Berkeley um, they will put you on the fish and you're gonna walk off that boat with one or two salmon and uh, a lot of memories um, social distancing on the boats in full effect face coverings the whole deal pretty safe um, they're cleaning the boats you know many times a day um, they're doing everything they can to ensure your safety out there so if you love saltwater fishing don't hesitate jump on the boats get after those salmon and if salmon isn't your deal halibut and striper fishing in San Francisco Bay live bait potluck fishing is outstanding and uh, I've even seen some big um, like 15 plus pound lingcod caught on the rocks inside the bay so live bait action very good um, you know guys on charter boats they're averaging about two halibut per rod some folks are getting limits um, top end fish 25 pounds about 38 inches long lots of keepers in that 8 to 11 pound you know category just nice quality California halibut great eating fun to catch enough said great day on the water happy hooker Cal Don golden eye 2000 they'll all take you out there they'll put you on the fish and you'll go home with a big smile on your face let's jump over to fresh water um lake par d um kokanee and rainbows mixed limits very good fishing standard stuff spinners tipped with corn small spoons kokanee bug changes from day to day but the action is very good for folks trolling with downriggers. Um, moving over a couple clicks, let's talk about New Hogan Reservoir. Um, the annual summer striper bite is underway. Guys are averaging about three fish per trip, up to about eight, nine pounds, I would say. Rolling anchovies, really simple. Look here on the channel for, for some of my videos on how to roll bait. Roll a whole anchovy. Fish it on trout gear and you will have a blast. I've done it a few times. It is a really fun way to catch stripers. They fight great, they eat great. Just a fun deal out there at uh, New Hogan Reservoir. Um, moving down, biggest kokanee in the state, New Maloney's Reservoir. Um, fish to 19 inches, you're not gonna get a limit. You're gonna have to grind, you have to put in your time, pick up a few rainbows and a few really big kokanee if you don't mind the drive or you're down in the new maloney's neighborhood well worth the effort very good fishing now if we want to talk iconic trout fisheries eagle lake red hot limits every day big fish to three and a half pounds the fish are in transition right now so you know some of them are deep some of them are shallow they're moving up and down throughout the day wind is good early is good eagle lake it's back it's bad it's awesome the summer's gonna be great the fall's gonna be better orange spoons orange trigger spoons trigger spoon junior grub stuff like that you'll kill them at eagle lake if you want to make the drive shasta 30 feet 35 feet shad pattern spoons all over the lake find the fish stay on the move they're a little scattered work shallower work deeper 35 that's your hot depth right now but shad pattern stuff troll fast stay on the move you know and you're, you're gonna find those fish don't burn a lot of time in any one area because the fish are not concentrated at shasta 
they're out there, they're roving around, they're looking for bait. So stay on the move, lower ends of the, of the river arms and the main body, that's the place to be. When in doubt, gravitate towards the I-5 bridge. Above it, below it, those forks right there. Very consistent area to fish on Shasta. It's kind of the, the crossroads where all the fish and all the anglers end up at, uh, at certain times. Um, and let's wrap up with the High Sierras. All High Sierra lakes, they've all been planted. They're all fishing very well. They've all got holder, hovers in them. They've all got planters in them. Pick your poison. Pick your favorite high country lake. Could be Jackson Meadows. There's one boat on the lake today. It could be French Meadows. It could be any number of high country lakes. They're all booting out fish. The water temperatures are still relatively low, you know, up here at 6,000 feet. There's a lot of good fishing, you know, available throughout the, the Sierras, whether you fish a lake or you decide to go and fish a stream. It's all happening. So bottom line on this report is pick your poison, get out there, go fishing, and uh, you're going to catch some fish this summer. Um, a real sleeper bite, Folsom Lake catfish. There are huge catfish on the chomp, fish anywhere from 5 to 10, maybe 12 pounds, chicken liver sardine fillets, 10 to 12 feet of water. Get back in those willows. They're still up there. They're looking to spawn. The carp are spawning too, and that always draws catfish into the shallows, looking to eat that, that carp spawn. So anyway, I'm Kel Clock. I got to catch fish here, so I'm signing off for now. There is a ton of good fishing available. Get out there, get after them, and if you need trout gear, you need river salmon gear, halibut gear, striper gear, whatever you need, go over to Fish Hunt Shoot dot com and check out my store and if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button doesn't cost you a penny and uh, you will always know when i'm on here talking fishing anyway i'm kel kellogg you have a great day i'll catch you next time right here on youtube and uh, i'm looking to go big baby anyway have a great day performance economy and rugged dependability that's what my seven foot six inch trout and salmon rods are all about to get yours, go to the Fish Hunt Shoot Productions store at fishhuntshootproductions.com.